And bus passengers are responding today after the CEO of Greyhound demanded that the Department of Homeland Security require that migrants show proof of being COVID free. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Marie. And I'm Natasha Paloma. KTSN 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from downtown El Paso with how locals are reacting. Earlier today, here at the Greyhound bus station, migrants could be seen getting on buses. But despite the recent request made by the CEO of Greyhound, a volunteer that was helping the migrants tells me that no one asked them to prove if they were COVID free. Here you can see the mother and daughter from Guatemala. The two had been waiting in Juarez under MPP and had to be tested for COVID before coming to America. They didn't get asked and, and um, at the desk here at the check-in desk and but they they have to have a negative COVID test before they let them cross the bridge. KTSM asked Greyhound passengers what they thought about the CEO's request to DHS to have migrants prove they do not have COVID. Passenger Anna Rosa Lowe says she would feel more comfortable if everyone showed proof of being COVID free. Everyone would have to do that because anyone could lie about like having it or like not taking a test or whatever so not just migrants. Another passenger Charles Bailey doesn't think anyone should. Well and my in my case, I never had to do that, so I, I wouldn't want somebody to do that. The request from the Greyhound CEO comes after news of 108 migrants apprehended in South Texas tested positive for COVID since the beginning of January. The people who are being released from CBP custody have a lower COVID positivity rate than people residing in the state of Texas. Robert Hayman with Las Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center tells KTSM he understands that Greyhound wants to protect customers and employees, but thinks it shouldn't be a requirement for only migrants. Now, asking for COVID status only of those immigrants, only in a way that effectively targets certain individuals on the basis of their skin color, their immigration status, the way that they speak, that has the potential to get really problematic really quickly. We reached out to the Department of Homeland Security about Greyhound's request, but we have not yet heard back. You can find more information on KTSM.com. Reporting 11 downtown El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. All right, Shelby, thank you very much.